This week on Green Science Oregon, we'll learn how electricity can be generated from bacteria found in sewage water. One research project at the University of Oregon is looking into ways of extracting hydrogen from sewage water using bacteria. The hydrogen can then be used to power fuel cells that supply large amounts of electricity when produced on a large scale. One byproduct of the process is water purification. This technology could be used in self-contained treatment facilities that will generate their own electricity while treating water. We'll visit Purolytics, an Oregon company that is pioneering a completely new photochemical technology for water purification. They'll show us their solar bag, which purifies three liters of pure drinking water in two to four hours of exposure to sunlight. They'll also demonstrate the Shield 500, which uses nanotechnology and semiconductor LEDs to purify contaminated water. That's next on Green Science Oregon. We are working on what we call microbial fuel cell technology. Uh, we use bacteria as catalyst to convert the chemical energy to electric energy or hydrogen. What we're doing is uh, a project for waste to energy um, using microbial fuel cells um, and also microbial electrolysis cells. Uh, we're looking at different applications, like one of them is um, uh, for wastewater treatment. The other can be uh, for bio remediation and bio sensors. So you clean the water and you generate electricity at the same time. We work on different aspects of this technology. For example, we, uh, we have several students working on the microbiology part, looking at what kind of microbial species would be more efficient and how the different bacteria work together uh, to generate more power. We also have students working on electromaterial development and what kind of material will be um, cost effective and uh, uh, physically strength is enough to maintain for long term operation. We also have students with environmental engineering background. They're looking at uh, how different operational parameters, the different bacteria, but no different uh, wastewater um, strengths and concentration, uh, industry wastewater or domestic wastewater. What will be the best one for uh, generating energy from it? So Shuta is my uh, PhD student. Uh, he's working on microbiology aspect of the microbiofusion technology. Uh, I think he's, he's working on right now trying to culture the bacteria and let them grow. Uh, and he's also working on a project to look at how the bacteria work together and generate more power. How the bacteria communicate each other and try to generate more power. That's all the stuff. This is the new stuff. Uh -huh. Shita is trying to isolate the bacteria uh, in wastewater to see how they can generate more power and uh, uh, any other uh, particular properties they have, for example, um, how long they can stay alive, um, you know, how they can tolerate oxygen or other uh, uh, issues. He's picking up a colony, so that's something uh, he's interested in. We believe they probably potentially can produce power, so we, uh, he grow that in this medium uh, solution and they can grow them. This is a pure culture. It's not mixed culture from wastewater. It's a pure culture already. So this is the way we culture bacteria in test tubes. So we add the bacterial colony uh, in this, this longer tube. And then we use iron like, as the electron acceptor. So when they accept electrons from the uh, bacteria, they change the color from brown to green. So you can see the color difference between these two. And this means bacteria already grow. Uh, in this tube. Green Science Oregon is brought to you by Oregon State University, where faculty, students, and research are powered by orange. So with microbial fuel cells, we are treating wastewater and we are producing electricity. The microbial fuel cells uh, have bacteria growing in them. They are fed wastewater and they decompose the organic matter in the wastewater to grow, so to feed themselves. And they are, uh, while doing that, they are producing electricity. We are trying to uh, improve the performance uh, of microbial fuel cells so they can produce more electricity. Uh, my research is focusing on treating the wastewater and removing uh, uh, specific pollutants from it 
and uh, I'm trying to see the effect of the different pollutants on the performance of the microbial fuel cells. An MFC, or microbial fuel cell, there are two chambers, one chamber the anode, one chamber the cathode. So this is the carbon clause that is used for the anode. Bacteria in the anode chamber colonize the anode. They, they grow on the anode and, and live on the anode. And the, the stuff that's in there, it's called substrate, which would be your waste in this case. Um, the bacteria use that waste to generate um, electrons or electricity as part of their metabolism and when they eat it. So then the electrons from the anode flow into the cathode. The same carbon clause it is painted by PTFE from one side, so that is hydrophobe, so to hold the water inside the MFC, and from the other side by platinum, that is the catalyst. And uh, so this is the cathode that is on this side of the MFC, and the carbon clause without the PTFE and the platinum goes in the anode. So as we see here, these uh, MFC are connected to this computer and um, that records the voltage. So, so here we see the voltage of this specific MFC, channel 14. Essentially it grows. In the beginning it doesn't really produce much electricity. It takes a couple days to get started and you know, as, as it starts to consume that, the waste that's in there, electricity gets produced more and more and then it comes up basically to a steady level. So we are trying to see if these bacteria are helping in getting rid of the pollutants. That's one. Two, uh, we are trying to see if these pollutants are affecting the performance of the electricity production by the bacteria. An MEC, or a microbial electrolysis cell, for that you're actually going to have an applied voltage to that, uh, whereas the MFC, it's kind of generating its own electricity. So when the voltage is applied, um, water or some other type of substrate in the anode chamber, for example water, it's split, so you now have oxygen and hydrogen and electrons. So the electrons flow from the anode again to the cathode, as in the MFC, um, oxygen gas would be you know, released from the anode chamber and hydrogen ions would move into the cathode. And in the cathode, you would have your, another waste, you know, your waste product, which again, similar to the MFC, would use those um, electrons to reduce con contaminants. So this is a, a small microbial electrolysis cell we use to producing hydrogen from organic materials. This technology can be potentially used for producing hydrogen from wastewater. And Shu is collecting sample right now, and he's collecting sample and analyzed using the gas chromatography. And a few minutes later, you can see the data coming out from the computer. It's going to tell you how many percent of hydrogen you have there and how many percent of other gases you can get from the reactor. If the performance uh, will become better, then microbial fuel cells can be used in wastewater treatment plants and for the whole purpose, one is to treat the wastewater and get better water quality, and the other one is to produce electricity. Our goal is to have a um, decentralized wastewater treatment uh, system which you can use in your backyard or you can use it, um, um, not like be, replace the whole wastewater treatment plant in town. Our goal is in five to ten years to do something like that and which can be commercialized in five to ten years.